Hey guys, it's Dawn from Seasonal Designs. Today we're planting up bulbs. I'm going to start with the bulbs that I'm going to plant in containers first. What I'm going to do is plant up a mix of tulips in this bag here. This is from Color Blends and it's a mix called Sorbetto and it is um, soft pink, soft yellows and soft peaches. What I start with is a clay container and I have it filled about a quarter of the way with a very light, well draining potting mix. No food in it, just plain potting mix. In fact, I'm using Espoma Organic Potting Mix. You might not be able to see it because Anne is in the way. What you wanna do is you wanna take your tulip and again, you're gonna plant the flat side down, the pointy side up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to line the entire bottom of this pot with bulbs. Now, depth wise, you kinda wanna plant them about the same as you would in the landscape. And this is gonna be about five or six inches deep. Space wise though, I'm gonna fudge on that because I want this pot to be packed with tulips. So what you do is you're simply going to put these in all the way around the outside and then fill in the center. It's gonna look something like that. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to put some dirt over the top of it. And I'm gonna break it up so it's nice and loose and I'm just gonna sprinkle that over the top. Just about like that. I'm just going to give each one a little bit of water so that it kind of soaks down into the container so everybody gets a good drink. So that's all that I'm gonna do to these containers. I'm gonna let them sit here overnight, just let the water drain out of them. Then I'm gonna move them into a very shady, cool location on the outside of my house. And then once it cools down a little bit more in the next week or two, I'll move these into my unheated garage where they will spend the winter. Then come spring, when you start to see some growth popping out of these, I'll bring them out, I'll give them a really good drink, and I'll put them where I want them to be in a sunny location. There's about 210 bulbs there. You can see I've got my power planter there hooked up to the drill. And I order all of these from Color Blends. And they come packaged really nice in this breathable bag. This is all in a box. They're labeled so you know what they are. And they're all like very nice, firm, really good looking bulbs. And I have some tulips and some different alliums here. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to plant these. You're gonna to wanna to plant these with this end down, this pointy end. Up. They say to plant them seven inches deep and 10 inches apart. So I have this little ruler, it's six inches, so I'm, it's gonna give me an idea. You don't have to measure, but if you wanna make sure that you've spaced them accordingly, um, you could use this just to get started so that you know what 10 inches looks like. So I've already started back here. I'm gonna put the rest of these down. And so once you have them laid out and where you want to plant them, then you get out your power planter and you plant. that easy. Now this is purple sensation alien and the bulb is a little bit smaller but it's the same thing you're going to plant this part down 
These you can plant five inches apart and five inches deep. So I have a total of um, 100 of these. There's 50 in each bag. So these are gonna be next. So I have all of the allium put in, um, buried, and you notice that I, you know, I kind of laid them out sort of in a soft kind of zigzaggy pattern in through here. And what I did is I placed them so I had plants in front of them and plants behind them because allium have really ugly foliage. While the bloom is looking gorgeous, you have this really ugly foliage, so I like to hide it behind other plants. So that's why I've kind of put them where I did. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give these a good drink of water, and then I'm probably gonna put a little bit of compost or maybe mulch over the top of these, and then they will be good to go until next late spring, early summer, when they start showing their beautiful blooms. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about planting tulips or daffodils in the landscape. Um, I'm not in my landscape right now, I'm in my raised garden bed, but I thought it would be easier for me to show you here. Um, a couple of things that you want to think about when you're planting in the landscape, you want it to look natural. So for instance, I wouldn't, you know, dig a trench and dig a straight line and put my tulips in in a straight line or my daffodils because it's not very natural. I probably also wouldn't even dig a big circle and plop them in because it's gonna look like a big circle. What I like to do is I like to plant in a triangle. So if this is my front, from here, I'll start narrow and bring it out kind of wide in a triangle shape, something like that. Then what I do is take my bulbs, and I'm just gonna lay this out here on top of the dirt for you to see, but I would dig all this soil out I would grab my bulbs and I would plant one in the front and then kind of spread them out from there. And you want it to be natural. Don't make this like a bunch of straight lines within the triangle, but it's going to be kind of a loose triangle, let's say. And it'll be narrow in the front and a bit wider in the back. And when these bloom in this fashion, it's going to look really natural. So you can do this with daffodils, you can do this with tulips, you can do this with a, a number of different bulbs. But I like to do this with my daffodils and my tulips because it just looks more natural and like, um, you know, they've naturalized there. So then once I had them in, I would again cover this whole thing with soil, maybe sprinkle a little compost over the top of my tulips give them a good drink of water unless you know you're gonna get rain in the next couple of days. And then you're really good to go and you should have a beautiful patch of natural looking tulips or daffodils come spring. Well, that is it for Bulb Planting 101. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you guys in the next video.